Welcome back to the Ping Plotter tutorial series. This episode will help you to get started interpreting Ping Plotter data so you can start finding and solving your own network problems. If you haven't used Ping Plotter yet, we recommend watching our Getting Started video for an overview of the software's awesomeness. For this example, we're looking at Ping Plotter data that was collected while experiencing some quality issues during voice over IP calls. At first glance, these results look great. Fairly solid latency, no packet loss, this isn't a pattern that would imply any serious problems. We start to see a bit of a different story when we zoom out on the timeline graph, though. There's a pretty obvious pattern here. The latency is ugly, and some packets are being lost. Packet loss can turn a conversation with your mechanic from your mom's car is shot into your mom is hot. To find the culprit in that rough conversation, let's take a look through the previous hops to see where this pattern begins in the route. We can tell that hop number one is the modem, because it's using a private IP address, the latency is less than one millisecond, and the name lends a clue as well. The results here look rock solid, so we'll move on to the next hop, which is inside the ISP. The results here look very similar to the results at the final destination. If we open up some additional graphs, we can see that this pattern seems to start at hop number two and carries through the entire route. Based on our detective work, we can determine that this issue is not an offensive mechanic, but an issue that's occurring somewhere between hop number one, the modem, and hop number two, the first step to the ISP. The pattern looks to be textbook bandwidth saturation. There's a ragged latency line and a clear start and stop period, which implies that more bandwidth was being used than was available. The easiest solutions to this would be to use less bandwidth or upgrade the connection to have more. For the adventurous, implementing quality of service on the router can make sure that voice traffic is treated as a priority over web traffic. If you're looking for more info on how to spot bandwidth saturation or other network issues, be sure to check out the pile of great resources on pingplotter.com.